Okay, so if you have been looking at the selection of just perfect, wonderful new Seraphon models, you will no doubt have seen feathers everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Now, one of the best ways that these feathers can be done is with a fade. It's a really easy way to achieve this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it simply using dry brushing and contrast paints. And we only need about five paints for this. It's amazing, it's super quick, and it's really good fun. So, our first step is to do a light dry brush of gray, followed by a light dry brush of white. You could use any color um, for your base coat, as long as it isn't black. I wouldn't go from black for this. You don't want things to go that dark in the recesses. You could just mix a little bit of your black and gray that we're using here if you want to have a nice base coat color for it. I'm using a mid-brown, but it doesn't really matter too much which. So, first step is to do some nice dry brushing. Don't rush this. I want to get a good quality coat down. And we're aiming to hit pretty much all of the feather apart from the very deep recesses either side of its kind of central spine, whatever that's called. It's fine to have high contrast on there. Don't worry about that at all. Okay, so with our dry brushing down, next step is to do some white or another really light color. You could use something like Old One Gray for this. That would work absolutely fine. I've not worried about fully cleaning my brush. There will be a little bit of gray in there. Lighter dry brush, starting on the edges that we want to be the lightest, which is the very tip of the feather. And then it should really naturally kind of pick out the spine and stuff like that. And I do a final careful step. I have a little bit more on my brush. And I'll use a light pressure to put it down quite carefully. This is gonna pick out those edges. Okay, so this nice high degree of contrast on there, it's now time to apply our contrast. And what the contrast is gonna do is everything that's below it is gonna punch through and affect how this feather looks. We're only using two colors here, and we're gonna be using contrast medium as well. You'll see a green appear in the middle, that's because we're gonna blend this over this, but it's much easier to just deal with two paints instead of three. There's our yellow. The yellow is extremely strong, so this is what would happen if you wanted to mix an intermediate color. If you're doing a longer feather, that's what I'd go for, but uh, we're just doing a tiny one. This technique is actually easier on smaller areas. Go pure turquoise. And then really importantly, we're gonna get some contrast medium on our palette ready for when we need it, which we will. Contrast medium is going to thin things down, basically make the paint behave more reliably and we won't get any nasty surprises. We're going to start where it's darkest and our first step is to mix a little bit of contrast medium in with our turquoise. We're going to aim this just on the very base of the feathers. With it down, we're going to quickly go and wash our brush. Just water. and then we're gonna to push towards the area we want the darkest. We're not pulling up because the paint will go all the way up the feather. We're just pushing down, we'll get a little fade. Let that dry, repeat, same again. You could try and keep this inside the previous step or you could just do it exactly the same. Either way, you're gonna start at the base. And push into it, if you're worried, you can dilute and you can use more medium and go a little bit slower, it's entirely up to you. Got some pure turquoise now, much stronger. Okay, so next step is to take our yellow. The yellow is very strong. We saw how easily a color that's normally quite weak like yellow affected our blue. So we're gonna dilute it. Make sure we've not got too much on the brush. And we're basically going to use this like a glaze. That's going to 
going to go all the way down the feather. If we don't like how much it's affecting the, um, the blue, turning it greeny turquoisey, we can just repeat a blue step at the end. What we will get that I do like is where it goes over, where it goes over the middle of the blue where it's slightly softer, we're getting a green appearing which we haven't actually painted on. Now, so we've only got one layer of the yellow down currently. It's going to look a little bit washed out because it's transparent. I'm just going to repeat the yellow. Again, this is a glaze. We're not letting it pull. And it should really easily make those feathers jump out. I lead it a bit, water it down. Go over the middle of the feather. You could call it done there if you're happy with it like that. What I want to do is bring a little bit back um, deep in the kind of base of the feather of the turquoise, which I love. I'm just going to repeat the first step again. You have to work quite fast if you want to be able to fade it out. You can use a bit this time. There we go. 